Today I am going to tell you that how we can find the LCM of 2 numbers, 3 numbers or even 4 numbers in just few seconds mentally. So traditionally when we have to find LCM then we use the division method. So here I have few numbers 3, 10, 15 and to find the LCM traditionally what I will do I will use a division method. I will find the common divisors and then I will follow this approach. And then I will find the LCM. But by using this trick, you will be able to find LCM of these numbers by just looking at them. So without wasting any time, let's start with the trick. So let's find LCM of these numbers using this trick. So the first set of numbers we have is 10, 25 and 50. So this trick has two simple steps. Step number one is to check is is to check that which is the largest number out of the given numbers. So out of these three numbers, 10, 25 and 50, the largest number is 50. So the step number two is that we have to check that whether this largest number completely divides all the other numbers. So we have to check that whether all the other numbers are factors of this number or not. So, 10 is a factor of 50 because 10 into 5 is 50 and also 25 is a factor of 50 because 25 into 2 is 50. This means that both of these numbers are divisible by 50. This means that 50 is our LCM. So, LCM of 10, 25 and 50 is 50. So, what you have to do is just you have to check that which is the largest number and then you have to check that whether all the other numbers are divisible by the largest number. And if they are, then that number is our answer, is our LCM. But what to do when the largest number is not completely divisible by other numbers? So for that, what we will do is that, let's take another set of numbers. 3, 10 and 15. What is the largest number? It is 15. Now check that whether this 15 is completely divisible by 10 and 3. So we know that 3 into 5 is 15. This means that 3 is a factor of 50. But 10 is not a factor of 50. So for this what we will do? We will use an extra step. So for that you have to, what you have to do is that you have to find the multiples of our largest number. And then whichever multiple completely divides the other numbers then that is our LCM. So let's find multiples of 15. So 15 into 1 is 15, then next multiple is 15 into 2 and that is 30. So you have to check that whether this 30 is com completely divides 10 or not. So we know that 30 is completely divisible by 10. This means that our LCM is 30. So when the, the largest number is not completely divisible by other numbers, then we take multiples of that largest number and whichever multiple completely divides all the other numbers that is our LCM. So let's take four numbers and find their LCM by using the same trick. So our numbers are 3, 9, 12 and 18. What is the largest number? That is 18. Now you have to check whether 18 is complete, uh, whether all the other numbers are completely divisible by 18 or not. So 3 is completely divisible by 18 because 3 into 6 is 18. So this is done. Now 9 is also divisible by 18. But 12 is not divisible by 18. So this 12 is still left. Now what we will do? We will take multiples of 18. So 18 into 1 is 18. And our next multiple will be 18 into 2. And that is 36. So similarly, we will keep on taking the multiples and checking. Now, check whether 36 is divisible by 12 or not. So, we know that 12 into 3 is 36. This means that 12 is also now completely divisible by 36. And all the uh, 3 and 9, as they were already divisible by 18, so they will be divisible by 36 also. 
So our LCM will become 36. Now here we have another set of numbers 8, 11 and 16. But there is a small twist in it. So what is the largest number? That is 16. Uh, so 8 is completely divisible by 16. So 8 is already done. But 11 is a prime number. This means that it will be not divisible by any other number but 1 and 11. So as 11 is prime number, then whenever we have a prime number in the numbers of which we have to find the LCM, then what we do is that we, have, we multiply this prime number by our largest number. So our LCM will be 16 into 11 and that is 176. So this was the twist that whenever there is a prime number, then just multiply it by the largest number. You don't have to find the multiples of the largest number. Now here we have another set of numbers, 3, 7 and 2. So what we will do this time is that as we know that all these three numbers are prime, this means that the LCM will be just the multiplication of all the numbers because all the numbers are prime. So LCM will be 7 into 2 into 3 and that is 40. Now let's see the applications of this trick. So this trick is highly useful in finding addition or subtraction of fractions. So for example if I have two fractions 7 upon 9 and 5 upon 12. I have randomly taken any two fractions and I have to find their addition. So for this, what is the step? We have to find the LCM of the denominators. That is the first step. So now we know a trick to find LCM. So by that we will be easily able to find the LCM of denominator. So in this way, one step will be reduced. So I'll, come, I'll quickly show you that how we can use this trick in this question. So we know that 9 and 12, we have to find the LCM of 9 and 12. And we know that the largest number is 12. Now we just have to check that whether 9 is a factor of 12 or not. 9 is completely divisible by 12 or not. But we know that 9 is not completely divisible by 12. So what we will do? We will take multiples of 12. So 12, next multiple will be 12 into 2 that is 24. So again we know that 24 is not divisible by 12. Uh, by 9. So next we will take the next multiple and that is 36. So now we know that 9 is divisible by 36 because 9 into 4 is 36. So our LCM of denominators will become 36. So in this way we just have to now uh, we have to follow the next steps and do the addition. So our answer will become 43 upon so in this way, by apply, applying this trick, the first step of addition of fractions, that is finding LCM of denominators, is reduced. Now, there are other applications of this trick as well. For example, sometimes we get some direct questions on uh, of LCM and HCM. For example, one question is that what is the least number which when divided by 9, 18 and 21 leaves no, no remainder? So in this question, what we have to do is, we just have to find LCM of 9, 18 and 21. And that will be our answer. So with this, we come to the end of this trick. Do subscribe, like and share this video.